Okay, finally happy with the lighting here. Hello, um, haven't spoken to YouTube for a while. Um, try not to do too many videos, um, mainly not to to sort of um, weaken what I've already done and plus you know some of the levels what I've been talking about in my videos meditation find that truths about the universe and our soul I've got to quite a high level so it's getting very complicated to explain stuff and um, I have feel like I've already said enough but I do still want to keep checking in every now and then and um, yeah that's what I'm doing now so the meaning of life and your purpose because if we're just saying the meaning of life is in this life we know about this short you know hundred year maximum life then we're talking about your purpose here that is the meaning of life I mean the real meaning of life is is still an enigma in ways but it's sort of simply to put it as simple as possible to choose to love to choose to live you know that's the meaning probably if <laughs> Yeah, that's a, you know, deep one. But in terms of your short life here in the, the physical body that you've got, your vehicle, um, is to, to do your purpose. And what is your purpose? Your purpose is to be you. So this is the reason for making the video and, and I'm going to maybe catch up with some stuff. But, um, yeah, your purpose, my purpose, everybody's purpose is to be you. And, and uh, you know, that's not, <laughs> it's not easy as it sounds, you know. You have to know you, and the true you, the, 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 the deepest you the child you, the original you, and uh, yeah, that's all part of the path, you know. So I was sort of, for myself, I'm thinking, you know, I've, I've exhausted my curiosity to understand what my soul is in terms of you know some sort of intellectual viewpoint that I can live with that I feel is exhaustive enough to know that this is the truth so how how does that help me <laughs> how how am I benefiting from that in uh, day to day well, I would just say that the day-to-day -day things, the challenges I look for, or you know, the things that happen, the things you need to do, I mean, I'm very much dependent on that phone ringing and someone having a computer problem to feel at ease, you know, that I'm making enough money and... I can pay the bills and it's been very on edge for me for quite a few years one of the reasons I've had so much time to meditate and in a sense that's been my purpose was to 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 deal with what I've been given and I very much have this thing with God that I I think about you know if nothing's coming in if nothing's going on I think about are there some unfinished jobs that I haven't done yet you know so if I was supposed to have gone and mowed my mum's lawn 
and I hadn't if I hadn't done that then I should do that or if there was something sitting around that I had intended to work on and if I haven't done it you know then then do it because you know perhaps God isn't going to bring in the next thing for me to do until I've done these things and then there are the challenges and the tests you know, I've just been on a three-week holiday with my son, and that certainly had some tests and challenges and little adventures here and there. Um, you know, you've got to survive, <laughs> survive a holiday sometimes. So it hasn't been that bad at all. Pretty good, but um, you know, and you sort of get back into normal life gradually. Um, because that's, you know, it's where you're comfortable, isn't it? You sort of, you know what you're doing to a point. It's nice to have that. But you won't want it all the time. So what holiday is good for is a bit of a change, isn't it? Yep. So, m wobbling on. Um, <clears throat> that was the main point in the video. Meaning of life and the purpose. As I will title this. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, uh, the tobacco is preventing a few things of mine from healing. So I am harming myself with tobacco, that is the truth. Um, and, you know, so I haven't dealt with that <laughs> yet. But I'll, I'll wait, I'm going to say, you know, either I, I won't give up tobacco, probably, unless I'm really seeing that it's having a health impact. I might cut down, and if that still isn't working, I would have to cut down further, perhaps even to the point of giving up. Completely. Um, I mean, the cannabis is is good. It's healthy. So, you know, if I did give up tobacco, I'd probably still smoke the cannabis. I mean, it's becoming legal. It's great. Um, what else? I know, like, ageing, like, I don't really see myself not ageing, that's, that's already happening, so, <laughs> just, like, so, accept it, it's fine, you know, I'm not going to reverse ageing, I don't, why? We've got this life to live, and... I knew when I was young that I was young and I should enjoy myself while I was young. And I did. And um, I can still enjoy myself. Like, if we're talking about parties and dancing, I'm probably on about twice, three times a year. Happy with that. <laughs> This isn't a very interesting video, but yeah, I'm just trying to keep in touch and show you where we are. Oh yes, okay, so we've, you know, that we're on course by the way, like gone past 22nd of August, had a big feeling on the, it was either the 19th or the 20th. I think it was the 19th and um, you know we yeah give yourself a big clap on the back because you 
you've been doing your bit, you've been playing your part. And your part, you know, is when you're being you, it's when you're being yourself. Whatever that is, um, but in the universe now, pieces are in place. Not just our planet, but the other planets with our brothers and sisters going through basically the same thing. The end of the year 5778, which is a golden ratio number, a phi number, 1.618003987, something, that year is coming to completion. And I did say probably about a year ago that it probably would be at the end of the year that things would be complete. And I think that's in the middle of September. So that is all sitting there in place. So we've the the faith planet are just they're having their thing like we did in May. And by the end of this month that the, the ripples will have settled a bit there and will be on course to have it all come September equinox and things of you know the the cogs the gears of God's plan have engaged they've been done it's done And it will begin to manifest. And it is the women on this planet who make things happen. And I, because of the moon mood thing that I've been saying about, and the year, the yearly one, the monthly one, and the daily one, um, women have got one more down before they'll be coming up for the whole next year, the whole year. So their lowest point will be about uh, so first week of August, uh, October. That'll be their lowest point. But they'll already have felt a change at the September equinox. Had begun something deeper, that yearly mood, that is a sort of a much more subtler one. Will have changed we have changed direction it's been slowing down for a while anyway well been slowing down it's slowing down until the turning point and then it will change and start going up for the women and down for the men so we men we've got one more after about a week we'll start coming up in our moon our month one again and we will be um, having our last up point before we'll be going down for the next year so if you're a man, consider that at the moment you are at your heights of your moods, you know. Um, so it's the women that make things happen. So once they start coming up, you know, it's not going to be immediate. Probably around Christmas they are going to be, let's see now, they'll be coming up from... About October 9th or something, not quite sure when the so then down and down again in um, November. So, yeah, from December the 11th, they'll be coming up. So, at Christmas time, New Year, the the, the girls are going to be feeling good, <coughs> feeling on the up, we'll be making good things happen. I, I, I've pretty much noticed that. Um, earthquakes are definitely a woman thing they, the earthquakes have been happening like just the one I haven't sort of looked back at uh, previous records, previous years I'm going to do that at some point but I haven't done it yet but I've been noticing I'm sort of predicting some of the earthquakes because I knew they were at points where women were at their, their lowest and people who don't know about the 
you know what day you're on if this is a coming up day or a coming down day when you don't know you know you you don't really notice that you you're feeling okay again until a good few hours after you've sort of started to come up and for some reason we sit and I think actually I feel okay what is all this I'm all right do 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 anyway so that's that's the outlook for the next so yeah so September the 22nd that is a for me you know this that equinox those few days I I expect something I expect to, for something to be have some sort of permanent change. I mean, <laughs> the change is there in the wings. I mean, and the the people who liked the status quo, what was before, you know, they're still they haven't given up the ghost totally yet. They're still trying to trying to get back to where they were. Um, Q and on is you know is pretty interesting. This JFK Jr. It's, it seems you know good stuff. Quite like it. See what comes out on that. Um, you know it's it's so true when the, these sort of good things are happening. You. That you know that it's nothing we're going to hear in the news. The the news goes quiet, you know, and oh, there's nothing going on. It's boring. That's when that's when the changes are occurring, and the changes are occurring in 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 the people, in the individuals. Oh yeah, I was in real confusion about my the identity of my physical being, if you like. And um, so, what I said in my last video, <laughs> I don't think so at the moment. So yeah, it's um, you know, and it's and it's put me in a big sort of quandary with you know, how I've been feeling truth and if I thought something and then felt something, you know, that it was true and, you know, because there's so many different types of feelings, it's, you know, there was some truth about it in a sense that it was something to do with my childhood. So maybe it was just my dad didn't believe that I was his son. I, my eyes were blue for the first hour, a year and a bit. So maybe, because I definitely had these feelings, I definitely seemed to process something when I was thinking that it, this other bloke was my physical dad. So it could have been that my dad had been unsure if I was his. That I could have got those feelings as a baby and I'd definitely say that I did. Now, I haven't spoke to my mum about it but, you know, her answer to most things I say is, um, I think it's un incredibly, <laughs> I think it's incredibly unlikely, darling. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> so, but, so I definitely had processed some of these feelings about this, um, you know, that I wasn't wanted by my dad in some sense. There was some of that, that, um, you know, I really had to sort of try and make him like me in a sense. Uh, I don't know. But so, the thing is, like, as far as the feeling goes, like, I go to my heart in my heart is is safety is truth the heart's in the sense 
knows what to do. You can't you can't trick the heart. You can't fool the heart. So the heart just knows. So if everything is easy with the heart, you know, which for any newbie in meditation who's grown up in the society for twenty odd years or whatever, it won't be. You know, maybe I'm talking about Western life. I can't speak for Africans and Indians because I don't know they're growing up well enough. They may be less affected. So, you know, you, you know, that's, I mean, unease in the heart is the whole reason you, you, you suppress anyway. Because we weren't taught to do it from a young age. We were taught to suppress rather than taught to sort of process feelings in the heart, you know. So it was a gradual thing, a gradual thing. And we've been, you know, basically, yeah, going away from, from our heart, our true self, your true self. When I first got into feelings of my heart, it was oh so sensitive. It was like that little boy, that really scared little boy. You know, and I've still got fears, so I'm still doing stuff. But it's definite, you know, it's, it's definitely doing stuff. It feels fulfilling. And that, that is part of your purpose, is to be yourself. That's part of everybody's purpose. So we have all of this within ourselves. There's no machine that needs to be invented. It's all here. It's all within you. There are sometimes I've been feeling, you know, the very, very strong buzzings. And what was interesting, while I was away in Norway, I was um, still meditating quite a bit because my son was, when we were at the flat, he basically watched YouTube. <laughs> you know, it's his holiday too. Let him do what he wants to do. Um, so I was still meditating quite a bit. And being around, you know, sometimes when I get into a deep one here, you know, stuff in the heart and it's, you know, you can, you, the thought comes into you, you know, I, am I going to die? And then, you know, you think, oh, yeah, I'll be dead here and eventually they'll find me. And, you know, so being with my son and my mum in the flat and because they're sort of really not particularly into what I'm doing at the moment, probably quite opposed. Well, it's, you know, not majorly, but a little bit perhaps. Not quite getting it. You know, to think that you know, to start having a strong feeling and the heart's going and was sort of an extra sort of challenge in a way because it was almost their their fear of that sort of combined a little bit to make it more challenging. But I was having some very, you know, I've been having some very strong feelings in the centre of my body and I've been thinking about, you know, if that is related to an organ. Sorry if I've said this before. And the organ I can think think of mainly is the is the pancreas, and um, which creates enzymes. And enzymes do almost everything. An enzyme is required for absolutely anything that goes on in the body. So, and it's interesting. It creates one type of enzymes from the top of the pancreas and another type of enzymes from the bottom of the pancreas. <laughs> I'm not sure of the shape, but anyway. So, so in a sense, you know, I was sort of having these feelings inside, and nice feelings, and I was wondering if that is then sort of... So it isn't, is, you could say it is your pancreas, but this stuff that's happening is definitely on a soul level. But the soul is dominant over everything else, so something happens to the soul, changes will happen in the body so yeah it's gonna you know there's so the organs in our body possibly reflect some of the 
parts of the soul or something, don't it? Not 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 conclusive. Yeah, I do ramble about stuff and I cover the subjects and if you've heard lots of my videos, you know, I am just continuing on things that I've said and, you know, I don't want to repeat myself, so if you're interested you have to go back to old videos. The truth is in there, you know, what the, the doubts I'm having at the moment and that everything are mainly to do with me, you know, and that's why you know, I'm not really making many videos even though, you know, stuff is happening. Um, like um, with the meditating, I've definitely noticed it's given me bags. It's been gradual, but I could see over the last couple of years, definitely, it's starting to, you know, by looking at older videos, I can see. And, um, yes, smoking ages the skin and everything, but the, 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 the bags and that definitely have got worse when I've been meditating. I've always been meditating with my eyes closed. So I, I started in Norway, in fact, um, opening my eyes, meditating and opening my eyes. And it was more challenging, but it was possible. And sort of um, it's taken a while to get used to it and to, you know, you blink a bit and you can blink. But what's interesting, when your eyes stay fixed on something and nothing's changed, you know, it's more challenging if there's, if you can see cars moving and stuff like that, it's a bit more challenging, but when you're sitting in a room and everything just remains the same and then, you know, it's, I mean, last night it was changing colours <laughs> and then, uh, then there was a bit with the rainbow effect. Um, you know, I know that God is everywhere, so I know every atom here is is God and the air and any light being emitted is God so I'm thinking anything solid is mother and anything lit is father like photons and stuff and the air is a mixture I think maybe liquid is a mixture and um, liquid probably mother but anyway there's a mixture of them as well so as there is in nature um, and there's so many analogies on how you can how you can see God but basically that God is everywhere but with your eyes open that's it was a bit more challenging to to sort of see that everything I can see is God so in a sense, the the furniture and everything is 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 communicating with me. <laughs> it's God. But so anyway, I was I started to get it, to get it last night. You sort of take on a you just take on that belief. You know what you believe is what you'll get. But there is a truth. There is a truth for all of us. And, you know, we're getting there like a zigzag, you know. So you're not always in complete truth. Will you ever be in complete truth? Will you ever be in complete truth? Like prime numbers, if you ask me. You know, most of our worries and fears are, are, you know, what what have you done with your life? And, you know, because of this pressure to be successful, to be great, I mean, I know, me and a few mates of mine, I, 
You want it to be great. And probably a lot more that I didn't directly know also wanted to be great. And so most of us won't be. That's just the, you know, the reality of the situation. It's a very much a pyramid civilization. So, uh, you know, most of us have to then deal at some point with the fact that, okay, I didn't become great. And I think, you know, that's what motivated my first sort of thinkings about I can remember sort of, you know, I was in this factory job, I was 22, and and I could just, you know, see this wasn't where I thought I was going to be, whatever. I was, how old was I? Not 22, a bit younger. Uh, 21. And so I just thought about reincarnation, and I just thought, yeah, that'll do. Doesn't matter then, I'll, uh fucked up this life and I'll have another shot in the next and it just took the ease off just made me feel a bit better about where I was so I could chill a bit um, so when I'm thinking about my soul and my eternal life then being like you know brilliant athlete, win a gold medal, or, you know, be so successful that you're just like Mr. Moneybags and you can have everything. Like, that, how does that help my eternal soul? So, okay, you achieve some sort of success, but then, you know, what next? And if we look at people who have achieved success, you know, they actually can get pretty unhappy so yeah is that really what we want um so when thinking okay I've got an eternal soul you know what does it matter then that I haven't got you know a big house and fancy car and a you know conventional 2.2 .2 family um because it's a it's a big it's a big old life it's a long life ahead you know and what 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 really matters then is just the feeling inside you know how do you feel how are you you know the people who like to be busy are often busying themselves to to not sort of wonder about that or just feel that's that's what makes them happy being being busy and then resting at the end of the day and you know maybe that is what they ought to be doing and there's been times in my life when I've when I've had that um, when I was in the army that was just what I did, you know, you, you were just active all the time and then rest and eat and rest. And, you know, it's quite good for you physically and everything, but, um, well, yeah, I'd say I can't think of any drawbacks at the moment with that. There's no, nothing drawback, but, you know, was I, was I achieving anything? I mean, I was, yeah, doing things with, you know, getting to know people. The camaraderie in the army was really good. You know, did miss that a bit as well. But anyway, what was I saying? But that's what matters, is how you are, how you are. And if you can do something that makes you feel more at ease, more sort of, happy that's going to affect you forever
the feelings just come like I just had a feeling then like you know we are being guided we are being we are being taught whether we know it or not it's God believe it <coughs> it's been in the car for three weeks I used it once I played in Sweden at a one man audience and my son he said I played like a god <laughs> don't know what I did it was just the right sort of situation I didn't play like this though. I was just trying to remember if I used to play it like this.
Netherlands. Alright, this is in Norwegian. <coughs> Written circa Listen to that deliverance thing. It's so awesome how two people can do that. Totally beyond me. Right, I don't really think I've got a song to put in. Breathing 
So I forgot the lyrics, but they weren't really that important. Just in case there's any confusion out there, my dad thinks he heard it on Radio 2 twice. I think he was probably dreaming. <laughs> Fell asleep and heard my song, Leopard in the Garden. And someone just said that the other day it was on iTunes, but I can't find it on iTunes. I never put it on there. Right. Come on then. Oh uh -huh. 
and turn around on the river Okay, I think that'll do. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Be yourself. It's your purpose. It's the meaning of life. Okay, bye.